Yo, my people, what's good? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Patala FC. We are within. And yes, we are here for the traditional review or preview of our game against Manchester City with Chelsea making it to yet another domestic semi-final. That's why it's the GOAT! The GOAT! The crowd goes wild, but Chelsea could, could actually add to one of the most painful records there is in world football. And that's getting to, I think, seven consecutive domestic finals, domestic cup finals, and losing somehow. And I'm not ready to endure such pain. But of course, we believe and we know there has to be a way that Manchester City can be beaten. To touch a bit on the reigning champions of the Premier League, Manchester City have been knocked out of the Champions League. So there will be a new Champions League winner this season. Uh, and a quick one. I'm going to do predictions because as a neutral, it's always interesting. And it's been a wonderful watching the Champions League from a neutral standpoint. I believe PSG beat Dortmund. They get to the final. I believe Real Madrid get to the final. And I think PSG win the Champions League. May the force be with you. Not going to say it again. We move. <laughs> and two points. Yes, we'll address the lineup for the Manchester City game. Um, but firstly, solution mode. This would be solution mode 4.0. I'm not going to name the video for solution mode 4.0. I'm going to just try to explain how we can unlock the potential of our team. And of course, the key component is Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer, if you look at his heat map across the season, as well as in the game against Everton, Cole Palmer is given a free role in Chelsea. He's given freedom to look for space anywhere on the pitch to impact the game. And Cole Palmer is comfortable doing this for Chelsea. And I think he does it so well as a cam. Against Everton, he tormented the midfield. He tormented everyone in midfield, really. And who helped him in the back line? Yes, both Connor and Caicedo. But we have to be honest and we have to state just how good Moises Caicedo was against Everton. And why was that? There's an element of Moises Caicedo's game that we are yet to see at Chelsea. And that's him being the outfield pass man. We can say it that way. Rather, to put it in better terms, when the ball is received by Caicedo, Caicedo needs to be the man to look up and release us on the attack. Chelsea don't mind taking on defensive pressure. We don't mind that, but it's about who releases the pass to get us moving. Many a times in the midfield three of Gallagher, Enzo and Caicedo, Enzo is the man that we look at to make that pass, spring the pass and, and move us forward. But Enzo loses possession a lot. He seems to not be very comfortable under pressure and he seems to be an emotional player. Emotional player in the sense of shoulder, arm around your shoulder, convince you that you're good week in, week out. Whilst I don't see Caicedo to be of that mode. If we look at what Caicedo used to do for Brighton in deep lying positions, Caicedo receiving the ball under pressure from a lot of players, he's still able to keep the composure and distribute passes left Oh, sorry. That's my right. Left every direction. Moises Caicedo's passing ability is being... It's being held down. We, we, we're not using him to his full potential. And how do we use him to his full potential? Conor Gallagher playing alongside him rather than in front of him. Because Gallagher has no interest in going beyond the center line unless he needs to. And Cole Palmer's free roaming ability allows us to always have a man in space that's available for Caicedo's pass. And it frees up space on the wings. Because Cole Palmer, with time, will become a man that needs to be marked. And not marked by one, but at least by two. That creates more space for players in the front line. But Moises Caicedo's duty to receive the ball under pressure needs to become a thing for us. We need to rely on him going into next season. But yes, um, 
let me know your thoughts on Moses Caicedo in general because I know he's had a, a, a here and there season and our opinions are divided. I think Caicedo's had an okay season and this being his first full season with us, I believe by next season we'll see another level completely. And who will be his partner will be the question. Should Gallagher depart, which is looking very business likely from Clear Lake and those guys, who starts alongside Caicedo? A lot of us would still love to see what Lavia would bring to the team. But until this point, Enzo feels like an expense or a liability at this point because he doesn't do what we expected him to do when we signed the player from Benfica for 100 million in installments. <laughs> but we move. We'll be playing the champions in the semi-finals of the FA Cup. We finally reached the point of suspense. Can Chelsea do it? Can Chelsea do it? Will Chelsea do it? Yes, they will. Damn, boy. They have to write. <laughs> Lineup wise, Petrovic and go, obviously. We only have that option, really, unless Bettinelli decides to finally show up. Um, I've been hearing a lot about third choice goalkeepers and how they just finish up the locker room and they could be very impactful in the sense of morale for the team. I think Bettinelli is just there for vibes, literally. But yes, Petrovic in goal. Left back Kukurela, right back Malo Gusto, Thiago Silva and Chaloba. I think the partnership of Thiago Silva and Chaloba, it being the most experienced Chelsea pair, very good for us going into a game like this. And actually, to summarize, the same lineup that we went with against Everton suffices. Maybe the exception of Raheem Sterling in the place of Mudrik, with Raheem Sterling returning from illness, that could be the only change that we could expect, really. But Podge has no reason to, especially in terms of Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer starting as a cam and Man City already planning for Palmer to be stopped in the cam role puts us at an advantage because if we do start Palmer on the right wing, he would drift into the cam regardless and I think he could just potentially torment Man City in every regard. I think it's going to be a good game, but we should not concede early. If we concede early, it changes everything. It makes it more difficult. Um, and I believe we're playing at the Etihad. I haven't confirmed, but I believe it'll... Oh no, this is semi... Man, this is Wembley time! You need a wee! <laughs> this is Wembley time! <laughs> we're back at Wembley. So yeah, I'm not going to give score predictions because, hey, this season, this season, for those who even bet, you have a strong heart. You have a strong heart because it's so unpredictable this season. Let's be honest. But yes, we move. I think Chelsea win it regardless. But we'll be here to react. Be sure to join the fam. Let's get it, y'all.